So why is everybody becoming an interior designer? And why now? What is it about uh, the world at the moment that makes everybody think um, it's my time, I'm ready to um, finally take the leap and become an interior designer, when in the past everybody was just thinking that it wasn't even a viable career? So firstly, everyone's seen that it's possible. And I think that is probably the biggest reason that across the last few years, people have really taken their own leaps and uh, really what they have seen as a leap of faith and thought, okay, this is my passion and what I really want to do. And they've made it happen. So when you see other people following their dreams and um, making it a, a reality, they're not like multimillionaires with millions of friends that are really rich or something. They don't have big portfolios or any portfolio of, of or body of work at all um, and they're you know just everyday people not specifically talented in any way nothing special uh, and no different to you and they think that they could become an interior designer and they did and when somebody else sees that the more and more people see it they start to believe that it's possible for them too and I think that is the biggest reason um, at the moment why it's happening now there are little to no startup costs and i think this is huge because in a world where people have quite a lot of uncertainty they don't really know how much they're willing to invest into a new big venture having a potential career with zero startup costs is a huge benefit and it means that your risks are really quite low and for that reason people are thinking well I've got no excuse anymore. I can take, the, <laughs> there's, there's nothing I really need that, um, uh, that is going to um, really make this a risky investment because, um, you know, you don't have to invest in, you know, uh, like loads of furniture or anything um, like huge in order to actually just start to become an interior designer. It's, you know, selling and design service, which is just your, your thoughts and your skill. The next is that you don't need any experience to become an interior designer. And to work as a professional, most of the time people get really afraid that, um, you know, that they don't have the experience or that they need, you know, all of these um, huge list of qualifications to become an interior designer. But uh, everyone's proven that that isn't true. And I think this really allows the freedom for people to just you know, pick up where they are and start a business uh, with the person that they are with the skills that they have and offer the services that they're confident in offering even if they are just um, advice on which furniture to buy or um, you know really really simple styling tips that uh, people ask for them uh, for advice for free anyway so all they're doing is selling their services and their knowledge that they already have Next is that you can work on projects straight away. And that is exciting because previously when people looked at uh, a career in interior design, they thought, oh goodness, I had to you know, study for you know, seven years or something and get all these qualifications and all of this stuff, which isn't true. And now they know that they can get their first client and start working on a project straight away. And that, that's their career started. So the speed that you can get into interior design is really um, it, it makes it not only such an accessible career but also uh, quite a promising one and that's why I think a lot of people are, are choosing to do this now because they've got a client and all of a sudden they're like okay let's do this another big one is qualifications in most places around the world in order to become an interior designer you do not need any qualification or any um, any kind of um, license or uh, certificate, even a diploma is not necessary. And that just makes this such a viable career to get into because um, of course, you know, you need to have something that you're selling as a, as a service, but um, most people already have practiced that skill because they've done it in their own home or they've been doing it um, for friends for free. And all of a sudden um, they realize that this is um, actually a possible thing for them because um, in most cases they don't need to go out and get you know a two or three year degree um, or, a, uh, or any qualification in order to just start working as an interior designer. This next one is really important to me because this is how I started. It's such a great business model for an online business because you're selling a service and um, it's not something that you physically have to go into somebody's house to do. 
uh, it's perfect for an online business. So this kind of has been a little bit different in the last few years, obviously, because uh, before, uh, you know, 20, <laughs> 2019 and 2020, uh, people used to say to me, oh, you can't do interior design without coming to my house. But we've proven over the last few years that this is completely possible. And this is why people are saying, yes, that um, this is such a, a, a possible thing to do now. And um, it's perfect for that kind of online setup, which gives you that laptop lifestyle and you can work from anywhere. The next is that you can train yourself and typically by doing a course online. And that freedom and flexibility allows you to study whilst you're still in a current job. Uh, maybe you're at home with kids and you know, you're decorating your own home. Maybe you're running your own renovation project. These are the things that you can um, you know, work around when you can just study with the flexibility of an online course um, without having to go and do you know, a, a few years of, of a degree. I mean, even so, de degrees even these days are online, but you don't have to. You can do you know, a, a, a course that you could go on a weekend to do, um, you know, to spe do spe uh, focus on specific skills, maybe drawing um, or styling or something, you know, that's going to set you apart from somebody else. But um, most courses are online and they're pretty realistic in cost. So um, you can really get uh, specific knowledge in certain areas really quickly. Next is that you can work from home, <laughs> and most, uh, most interior designers do, and uh, you don't really need much more than a computer uh, and possibly a phone to get going. So it's a really, really um, viable thing that most people can do straight away. They don't need to go out and buy specific software or um, you know, a really, um, you know, like a rendering machine or a gaming machine or anything that um, makes them specifically require something unique or a camera or something that is going to, you know, m make sure that you need to invest loads of money in order to start your career. It's most people have a laptop, most people have a phone <laughs> and I think that's, um, and they're able to work from home. So uh, I think this is a big reason why um, this accessibility is um, making this look like a very viable profession right now. Interior design is also a very flexible career and you can work your own hours. The thing is, depending on what niche of interior design you go into, maybe decorating, maybe styling, maybe even architectural interiors or, you know, even rendering, 3D modeling, uh, you know, or even just providing consulting services. There are so many different niches of interior design that you can really work from home your own hours. And, um, and around all of the things that you've already got going. So when I first started, I was still working in an architectural office full time, but I had my e-design clients that I was working all weekend, but uh, it helped my get, get my business off the ground. And um, it's, it just proves that it's a really, really flexible career, especially for those now I have a baby, I can work around my baby. I have, you know, I don't have to take time off. Um, and it's, it, it's really uh, the best career, it's something I couldn't do around architecture um, because I had set hours that I had to work, whereas interior design is so much more flexible. And this is why I think it's happening now. There's so many clients and there's lots of work and the demand for interior designers was already set to grow when I was starting my business. But now it's really exploded because everybody's working from home um, and for the foreseeable future they really um, are going to be working or at least part-time from home so people are focused on the home people want to live somewhere nice because this is what they're surrounded by people realize that it's important their mental health their emotional health and the you know the physical health of their home because um, where they're spending the majority of their time makes them feel good or makes them feel bad and these are the kinds of things that people are starting to take note of you know um, things like sustainable design wellness um, biophilic design things that people are really starting to uh, you know take uh, into their lives as something that is important to them these things are growing uh, in popularity and because of that people say well I can afford an interior designer so I'm going to hire one and finally, it is a fun and creative career. And I think this is the best part about interiors, not only for me, but for all of my mentees and people I uh, come across every day, is they everybody gets to express their own creativity in their own way. 
and every day is different so you don't spend two days doing anything the same it's completely creative and um yeah that is a real real um pull especially for you know those of us who are visual learners or people who want to express their creativity who need that to make themselves happy um and uh, that kind of variety in your day allows you to express um, your joy in so many different ways and that gets shared to your clients or the people you interact with and you know you're just genuinely surrounded by happy people because you're doing great things and I think that is one of the like a, a huge huge reason why everyone's doing um, or becoming an interior designer and why they want to do it now. So to finish up why now why is everyone becoming an interior designer i think uh all of the circumstances that have come about of obviously uh what's happened with the pandemic and what's happening um well interior design was set to grow anyway as a profession also i think people see that it is a really viable career you know people have stopped really asking me oh well you know can you really make uh, a career out of becoming an interior designer people see that you know, it's just as viable as being an architect. It's just as viable as um, being a project manager, um, an engineer, a surveyor, anybody in the construction industry. We are part of the construction industry. And it's, uh, um, it's, it's just as important. And if not, becoming even more important with every day. And I think the final thing is people can see that it's really not magic. All of those things that people like made you believe that interior design is so difficult or um, that you have to be exceptionally talented before you can, um, you know, even you know, have get take your first client on. It's like it's all nonsense. It's like it's just interior design. So, you know, there's no, no magic about it. You just can become um, an interior designer doing it your way. And there's nothing special about the people who are becoming interior designers today. Um, and that, I think, really makes uh, it a, a very kind of uh, something that people are looking at saying, this is possible for me too, because I see people who are um, just like me becoming interior designers every day. I'm Jo Kroback. I'm an architectural and interior designer. I uh, mentor interior designers and help them start a business. So the majority of my interior designers start from scratch they have no previous experience uh, they come from around the world I've had people from the US Australia uh, Canada UAE India um, uh, Sweden Norway UK obviously um, New Zealand uh, Singapore China we've had people from all around the world and they've all been able to create their own successful interior design businesses um, once again absolutely nothing uh, specific or special about them. It's just that they wanted to become an interior designer. It was their passion and that was possible.